The Brookline Teen Center rocked out on February 7th with guest speaker and local resident Iran Agozi, the co-founder of Harmonix Music System. Agozi, who lives in Brookline, was born in Israel and moved to Massachusetts when he was 12 years old before attending the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. He then went on to co-found Harmonix, which created the popular games Guitar Hero and Rock Band. We were working on ways to try to get musicians to have more expressive power using technology. And then one day we were thinking, well, why can't we use that same idea to get people who are not musicians to try to make music? So that was the first idea. And then Alex, who was my, uh, who's my business partner and also was my office mate at the time, he was playing a flight simulator with a joystick. And one day he said, hey, Iran, do you think we could hook up the joystick to this music thing that you've been working on? And I said, sure. And next thing you know, you were essentially like flying a musical instrument with a joystick. It was kind of weird, but everyone loved it. And it allowed you to be musical without having to have gone through all the, all the pains of uh, learning how to play an instrument. The wonderful thing about technology um, in music is that it just gives more and more people the ability to participate in the music making process. You know, so like you look at what SoundCloud has done uh, to a lot of little bands who can now like post their stuff online. People can comment on it. Um, there are mixing studios that are online. So if you have a band and you want to record some tracks, you can now do that with this like amazing online system. Um, just streaming music is music technology, like the fact that we have all this music at our fingertips all the time. So it's pretty amazing what's, what's been happening, and I think it's really exciting. There's, um, there's an app I've been working on called Concert Q, which, like you said, has got a grant to keep building. Uh, we're using it with the BSO, the Boston Symphony Orchestra, and it's essentially a live streaming program note system. So what you do is when you're in the concert hall, you actually are supposed to take out your phone, which I know normally is like a no-no, but you actually take out your phone, you silence it, and then if you go to this web page, you will get program notes that are exactly synchronized to what the orchestra is currently playing, like live. The cool thing about that is we can make it so that uh, we can point out certain things in the music as they're happening. Like, hey, listen to the flute. And then the flute comes in. You know, and so you're like, oh, I see. And the idea is to get people to have that moment, like, oh, oh, I get, I get it now. Because a lot of times in classical music, it's kind of hard to listen to it, especially if you don't know it. The event was hosted by the Brookline Music School as part of their free speaker series. The event was well attended and served to tell the community about the intersection of music, technology, and entrepreneurship. Brookline has the best of everything that a city has to offer uh, and like none of the downsides. So it's nice to have these community events where people can come together and say, hey, this is what's going on here. One of the things I love most about Brookline is when we do Porch Fest. Members of the community were happy they attended the event and were intrigued as to what Agozi had to say, which mainly covered Agozi's story and the story of harmonics. So we were wondering, how can you use technology to make, to make playing better? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, this is, people's, this is most people's experience with music, right? Is what happens. And, and why is that? Why does that happen? I don't know. Why is it that it's really, really hard to keep up with an instrument. Because this is what ends up happening, right? But what you want is this, right? Yeah. That's what you want. Because that's when you're like, you've got to this level where like, you are enjoying music. And by the way, I'll have you know that both, both this kid and these guys here have their eyes closed. For Brookline Interactive Group, I'm Jacob Solkoff.